Here at Abasa Belt, we believe that Women's Day is every day. Lead, follow, and in turn create more leaders. Young black woman, if it was possible then, what's stopping you now? On the 9th of August 1956, thousands of women gathered together to petition against the past laws that were put in place by the oppressive apartheid government. Today we remind her of the greatness that can be achieved when women intentionally come together for change. The baton has been passed over to us to continue the revolution and to continue the fight against oppression. May we continue to insist on being seen and not just looked at. Let's continue to uphold and grow the legacy of the women of 1956 with pride and heart. The events that led to the creation of Women's Day first time happened in the 1950s. And to many of us who were born way late after that, we always have to ask the question, why do we still have to celebrate Women's Day even today? And the answer for me is simple. Such a day, it is one that reminds all women that given women unite together against a particular or for a particular cause, something great can happen. And this is the importance of today. Happy Women's Day. Women's Day reminds us of the contribution women make in everyone's lives. It highlights the African proverb. If you educate a woman, you educate a nation. Because every time you surround yourself with women empowered, you become empowered and also become inspired to empower others. Hi everyone, so I hope that my message is going to be very simple and straightforward. First, I'm very grateful to even sit here and talk about this day because I believe that some of the women that fought for this day back in 1956 did not get a chance to celebrate it. And therefore, I believe that it is upon us as women, especially young women, to hold each other accountable and ensuring that we continue their movement, which is to say that women can achieve anything and everything that they want for as long as we stand together. And I just want to mention to young ladies out there that when Miss Universe said, let's take up space, she did not mean okichini or any makoti duty that is meant for us, but she meant in those bathrooms, in those presidential seats, in any other executive seat that was not meant for a woman back in the day, let us go there and claim our spaces. Um, I hope that everyone had a good Wednesday. successful women are a tribe of other women who have her back keeping her strong and going. For the longest time, our worth as women has been compared with the amount of pain we can endure. For example, Batinda Mufazi, Batinda Mbogoni, Musadi Utahatiba Mukhali, or it is as what I perceive those idioms mean. So many years, our struggles still continue. Good the last year corner. God, the milestones that we have achieved thus far are worth being celebrated. So my message today is that be kind to yourself and remember that even at your worst, good day, San Miguel. So happy Women's Day. The women of yesteryears, the women 
of 1956, our mothers, our grandparents, our sisters, our aunts, have paved the way for us. It is now in our hands to be the change that we want to see in the world. It is our time to stand tall and be the phenomenal woman that we are meant to be. I am a woman worthy, outstanding, magnificent, amazing, noteworthy. We are phenomenal. We are a force to be reckoned with. And let no one tell you otherwise. A message from our chapel. As individuals and society at large, we must continually work on an enabling spaces and opportunities for women to take up space. In the spaces we find ourselves occupying, indeed, our actions must speak as loud as our words when it comes to us. Our words alone will not enable spaces for women. Our words alone will not end gender-based violence. In essence, our words alone will never be enough. Let's rise up for women and make every day Women's Day.